Linux cat command helps to view the content of single and multiple files on the Ubuntu terminal. Along with this, cat command can create new files, perform redirection, combine multiple files and manage large files. I will illustrate each of these usage of cat command practically in this video using the Ubuntu terminal. And as a bonus, you will learn to append text and multiple files using cat. So, let's roll and watch the full video to master the cat command. The cat command prints the contents of the specified file. It comes from the word concatenates. Generally, this command reads the contents of the files fed to its arguments and prints them serially on the terminal. The syntax of this command is really simple. Cat is followed by option and file name. Here the option is optional and if you only input the file name, you will also get the output. Now, to learn about the options for the cat command, you can always check the manual page. For that, you need to type man cat in the terminal. And here you can see the manual page of cat. You need to scroll down to learn all the options. And to exit, simply press Q. To display any file, at first open the terminal and type cat file1.txt. Here file1 is the file that already exists on my system. So if I run this command, I will get the contents of file1.txt. So hit enter. See, the contents of file1.txt are displayed on the terminal. You can also display the contents of multiple files serially at a time. For this example, I have chosen three existing files that already exist on my system. So I am typing in the terminal get file1.txt space file2.txt space file3.txt. Hitting enter. Now in the terminal, you can see that the contents of all three files are displayed one by one. Creating a new file using cat is also possible on Ubuntu. For that, in the terminal, simply type cat forward angled bracket file4.txt. Here file4.txt is the new file. Now hit enter. You can see the command prompt is waiting for some lines or values. So I am typing this is file 4. Now hit enter and then press Ctrl and D. Now to see the contents of file 4.txt, type get file 4.txt. Hit enter and look, the line I added to the file 4.txt is displayed on the terminal. Now moving on to redirection. You can redirect the contents of a file to another by using the cat command. For example, if I want to redirect the content of file 1.txt to file 2.txt, the command should be cat file 1.txt forward angled bracket file 2.txt. Here the angled bracket is used for redirection. Now press enter. To see the contents of file2.txt, type cat file2.txt. Hit enter and in the terminal you can see that the contents of file1.txt have overwritten the contents of file2.txt. Likewise, the single file redirection, you can also redirect the contents of multiple files to another file at a time. I will redirect the contents of file1.txt and 2.txt to the file 3.txt. To do this, I will type in the terminal get file1.txt file2.txt forward angled bracket file3.txt. Hit enter. Now to see the contents of file3.txt type get file3.txt. Hit enter. See, the contents of file1.txt and file2.txt have overridden the contents of the file3.txt. This one is very interesting. Imagine you have a file and want to display it in reverse order, but don't know how is that possible. In Linux, it's possible using only one command, and that is tag. Tag comes when you spell cat backward. So like the name, it does the same as cat, but in reverse order. To display any file in vertical reverse order, type tag file1.txt. Hit enter. You can see the contents of file1.txt in reverse order. 
Now let's display the file in regular order. For that type, cat file1.txt. Hit enter and in the terminal you can see the differences. Appending is adding or combining content to the end of a file. In Linux, it is also possible with the cat command. Let's say I want to add a line to file1.txt. To do this, I am typing cat double forward angled bracket file1.txt. Hit enter. You can see that the command prompt is again waiting for input. So write the line that you want to add. I am writing this is the appended line. Hit enter, press ctrl D and it's done. Now to view the file1.txt, type cat file1.txt. Hit enter and you can see that the new line is added at the end of the file1.txt. Next up, you can also append the contents of multiple files to another file. Now I will append the contents of file1.txt and file2.txt to the file3.txt. So typing in the terminal get file1.txt, file2.txt, double forward angled bracket, file3.txt. Hit enter. Now to view the file3.txt type get file3.txt. Hit enter and you can see that the lines of file1.txt and file2.txt are added at the end of the file3.txt. Basically cat is a multitasking command. Till now we have seen that this command can combine and redirect files. But it can perform this two task together as well. For this example, I will combine file 1, 2, 3 in a newly created file named file5.txt. So in the terminal, I am typing cat file1.txt, file2.txt, file3.txt, forward angled bracket, file5.txt. Hit enter. Now to display the, now to view the file5.txt, type cat file5.txt. Hit enter. See, with a single command, a new file has been created named file5.txt and the contents of file 1, 2 and 3 are added to the new file. Sometimes concatenated large files can be very hard to see through the terminal. For this example, I have already downloaded a large text file named paragraph. If you want to download the same, check out the description for the link. Now to see the large file, type cat paragraph vertical bar less. Hit enter and see the contents of the file are displayed on the terminal page by page in a list format which is easier to read. You can press space button to go to the next page of the file. You can also press the enter button to scroll to the next page line by line. And if you want to exit the page, simply press Q. In a nutshell, now you know everything about the cat command. Practice the examples for hands-on experience. And to learn more, check out the article linked in the description. You will also find the commands and the paragraph download link. For any queries, feel free to comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Linux Simply. Goodbye.